Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got a video on getting my mastery dog tags for the M249 light machine gun. Now, last video there was a lot of people asking me to unlock the M249, so I decided to go ahead with this weapon. I'm actually surprised I haven't yet gotten 500 kills until this point with this gun. It is a very fun machine gun to use, but it is pretty restricted regarding range. The weapon does 25 damage maximum per shot, which is on par with your average assault rifle. However, you can't equip it with a heavy barrel, so its damage drop off is a lot shorter than your average assault rifle with a heavy barrel equipped to it. So uh, you're restricted in range, you also don't do very much damage at range, and your aiming down sight accuracy is just atrocious, not to mention you got some pretty substantial recoil. So trying to hit targets at range, trying to take out targets at range isn't impossible, but it is very difficult. You can help suppress targets at range, perhaps get some kills by finishing them off with the last little bit of damage, but dishing out 100% damage at long range to targets is very, very difficult with this weapon. Now you might be thinking, well, why not equip a bipod? Lots of LMGs shine when they have bipods equipped with them. You can really take out targets at range. Well, even so, at range, your damage drop off goes down all the way down to 18.4. So all of a sudden you start to get in the five to six shot kill range. And uh, that's just unrealistic and not very fun with LMG. So it still takes you a while to take out your targets. Now to make up for some of its damage drop off and the fact that it's only doing 25 damage maximum compared to some of the heavier LMGs that do 34 damage maximum, the M249 is the fastest firing LMG available, clocking in at 800 rounds per minute. Now take that high rate of fire and couple it with the extended mags, boosting the maximum ammo capacity to 200 rounds before you need to reload, and you can dish out a huge amount of damage very quickly in close quarter combat. You can take out literally squads of enemies before you need to think about reloading this weapon. Now if you can get up in their face in close quarters, this thing is absolutely lethal. Put a foregrip on here, which is what I was using with extended mags and the Cobra sight. You can get in close quarter and just hip fire your enemies down. Uh, if you have squad suppression or something like that, then you can sort of suppress them at the same time, trying to help negate the damage you might be receiving in return. Now the weapon still is effective at medium range, but I find if you're going to go in a one-on-one -on -one firefight with pretty much any assault rifle at medium range, you better have the drop on them because you're not going to really be out damaging them. Sure, 800 rounds per minute seems like a lot, but considering that most of the decent assault rifles out there shoot 800 rounds per minute or faster, you're not going to be out damaging them. They have longer damage range than you, so they're going to be doing more at medium range than you will. So you really got to make sure you have the element of surprise. Use the fact that you have a ton of bullets. One thing that I was able to do a lot was really just kind of spray areas that I thought guys might be, or even pre-fire corners that I thought guys were going to peek around, pre-fire areas to suppress my enemy as I come around corners. So you can basically just really use your massive quantity ammo as a tool. So just fire in areas even if you don't think guys are there. Sure, you're not going to have the great greatest accuracy rating with this weapon, but that doesn't really matter as long as you're playing tactically, you're suppressing as much as possible, you're using your ammo very liberally, firing through smoke perhaps where you might think there might be a guy, uh, then you're going to end up getting a lot more kills. Something that I really like about the M249 is that there isn't one specific setup for it that is without a doubt the best. There's a lot of assault rifles out there that I can say, like, without a doubt, heavy barrel and foregrip and cobra sight are just going to be the best way to run that weapon. But with the M249, uh, I would say putting a laser sight on there to get really good hip fire accuracy can definitely mix it up and make it much more effective in close quarters. Uh, putting a flash suppressor or a regular suppressor on there can actually be really helpful, not just for staying off the minimap with the suppressor, but the actual muzzle flash on this weapon really does obstruct your vision a lot of the times when you're aiming down sights, making it very difficult to hit your target. So flash suppressors and or regular suppressors really do help out when aiming down sight with this weapon quite a bit. Now a very interesting aspect of light machine guns in Battlefield 3 is that they become very, very accurate when you go into a crouching or prone stance. Well, crouching makes them more accurate, but if you go prone, they become very accurate. This is with or without a bipod. It doesn't matter if you have a bipod. If 
you go prone with a say M249, it's aiming down sight accuracy goes from a .5 while standing, which is very, very inaccurate to give you a reference. The M16A3 has a .2 aiming down sight accuracy while standing. Uh, so this is more than double the inaccuracy of the M16 starting off with its first shot. So when you go from .5 while standing with the M249, it reduces to a .2, which is on par with basically your most accurate assault rifles out there. So if you ever have the opportunity with this weapon, going prone is really going to help you out a lot. Now for close quarter combat, obviously going prone really isn't going to be that great of a strategy. But if you're ever in a pickle or if you find yourself in a long range situation where you think somebody's going to come around the corner at a good medium to long distance uh, engagement range, go prone, aim down sights, get ready to mow down your target. You're going to have much better accuracy. This is also a great strategy for playing on defensive sides of rush games. I love playing the support class when playing defense on rush. You have a ton of ammo, you can definitely mow down the incoming enemies, and it allows you to sort of pick out a good spot to go prone, lock down a certain lane of the map, and then all of a sudden you have a weapon that is almost as accurate, if not just as accurate as your average assault rifle, but you got 200 rounds in a magazine. So now you got a real contender of a weapon, you just lack the mobility of, say, your average assault player. Now thinking about it more, as much as I love the M249 just because of how iconic a weapon it is in the US military, uh, the reason why I haven't really used it much in Battlefield 3 is because there's weapons like the M27 IAR, which can be equipped with a heavy barrel, which greatly increases its accuracy. And its accuracy is already, be already better than the M249 while standing and aiming down sights. It has less recoil, so uh, although it has a very sl uh, small magazine capacity compared to the M249, I'm all about the accuracy and definitely dropping your first initial opponents that you're going to see is the most important. So I focused on some of the lighter light machine guns and I kind of left the M249 in the dust. But it is a lot of fun getting back to this weapon. It's very, very effective in close quarters, especially if you have something like squad suppression equipped or a laser sight will also work really well in close quarters. Uh, so give the M249 a try. It's absolutely a blast to play with. It's such a cool looking gun. Uh, I really, really do like the M249. It's been used in the US military for such a long time and we know for a fact that it is coming back in Battlefield 4 and the one in Battlefield 4 from the screen grabs that I've seen in fact the latest battle log story has a cool picture of the support player on there the M249 in that is actually what looks like the paratroop version of that weapon which is sort of the cut down version it's got a collapsible stock a shorter barrel uh, it just looks more compact more agile but still packs a, a huge punch and it, it just looks awesome and I can't wait to check out the Battlefield 4 version of this weapon. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.